Hey everyone, it's Adam and welcome back to the channel. This is a quick video for my Mac users out there who might be having an internet connection sharing issue with their Ponagachi project. So I'm going to assume up into this point you have flashed your image to your Raspberry Pi and you're ready to start making a connection to your computer by SSHing into it and then going from there. So assuming you have plugged your Raspberry Pi into your MacBook using a data supported transfer cable, we're going to go to the spotlight search up here, select system preferences or type it in. We're going to go to network. Now you may have the RNDIS gadget already listed here. I've gone ahead and removed it to assume most of you do not. But if you do, you can follow along here in a second. If you do not, all you have to do is click the plus Switch the interface to RNDIS Ethernet Gadget and click Create. The next thing you want to do is click this little circle with the dots, click down here, and set service order. This is going to be important. We're going to move this under our Wi Fi adapter. Click OK. The next thing we're going to do is assign the proper values. We're not going to be using DHCP, we're going to switch this to manually. Now, just like before, we're going to do 10.0.0.1. Subnet mask will be 255, 255, 255, 0. We are not putting anything in the router. Move over here, click on Advanced. Go to DNS. Click the plus sign. We're going to do 8.8.8.8. .8 and we're also going to add 1.1.1. Click OK. Go ahead and click apply. And as you can see, we're now connected. So we can go ahead and close out of here. And we should now be able to SSH into our device. And then we'll try to SSH again. And then are you sure you want to continue connecting? We're going to click yes or type yes. Password will be raspberry. And we will clear this. Now, if we attempt to ping google.com, that won't happen. The next thing we need to do is grab the internet connection sharing script. That is going to be this script here. It will be linked in the description box below. But all we need to do is go over here, download the raw file. And let's go ahead and exit out of here. I'm going to CD to downloads. And let's get the name of that file. It's going to be Mac OS Connection Share. Let's go down a little bit. The next thing we need to do is give this file privileges to make changes. So we're going to do sudo chmod plus x and just type it out and then tab. Password's going to be your MacBook's password. And we're running this script on the host computer. This is not running on the Ponagachi. This is running directly on your MacBook. We'll go ahead and clear this out. Now type ifconfig. And what we're looking for are where our devices are at. So the first thing is we're looking for our primary internet device or ethernet device. And that's going to be en0 for me. Because you can see this is the IP address for that. And the other one, I believe, is going to be EN3. And we can tell it's EN3 by the INET address here. So just find your primary internet connection, the one that has the internet coming in. This will be the one that's sharing. And then you are looking for your device's IP address. So we'll clear this out of the way. Now we're going to do sudo sh period forward slash macOS internet connection, macOS connection share. And we're going to share en0 to en3. Now your numbers might be different. They might be the same. Just make sure you verify. We'll go ahead and enter. Now, you will get some of this that will pop up. No alt queue support and kernel, all of this. 
Don't worry too much about that. What we're looking for is sharing internet connection from upstream interface EN0 in my case to USB interface EN3. So let's go ahead and open a new terminal window. And if we SSH back to the Pi, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And now if we attempt to ping Google, we have a connection to the outside. Hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully it made things work. Again, make sure you're taking a look at your priority order. This will be important because this is what really stumped me was the this was out of order. Wi-Fi at the top or Ethernet at the top, then your gadget listed directly below. And with that, that will wrap this video. Again, hopefully you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, I will see you in the next one.